Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. Hope you guys are doing well. We have a new update, so we are on 0.14.2. Now, it's not much of an update, it more or less is just basically um, updating the game back to normal mode, so we are no longer in the Christmas holiday theme. So, it's just regular Westland Survival. So, it's pretty much done. Um, so for everyone that's completed their Christmas trees, good on you guys, and hopefully you guys have already received all of your gifts. Hopefully the iOS update has finally flowed through as well. Not too sure at the time of this recording if it has gone through or not, but obviously Android's always the first one to get it, so I've already got the update, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have done so already. So let's get into it. I really just want to quickly touch on the patch notes. There's really not much to go through, so I'm just going to go through that now. So basically, the update patch notes are as follows. Ready for the presents. What's new? The festive event is over and you can claim your Christmas presents. If you have finished decorating the tree, you'll get a unique box full of rewards. If your tree was de uh, sorry decorated at least halfway, you will also be rewarded, which is awesome. So really good to uh, the developers to allow such um, uh, an update where everyone who had tried to complete most of the tree or at least got halfway, you're still going to get something out of it. Now I'm not too sure if you're going to get exactly what the, um, the pl to the players that have done the tree in its entirety, if it's the same type of gifts or, or whatever it might be, um, or will it be a lesser amount, I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys received, if you guys got it in full, which I'm assuming because uh, what I'm about to get as well, so I, th I don't think it's going to be anything different, but for those that only finished the tree halfway, let me know what you guys received because I'll be interested to know. Um, all toys and decorations and snow will disappear, obviously, as you can see here, so it's time to move on. And then fixes, minor localization fixes have been done, and then obviously the iOS version at the time of the update release, which was on the 18th of January, um, has been um, under a, a review, so hopefully you guys will get the update soon. But in place of my Christmas tree is my little chest. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Let's see what we get out of it. As you can see, I've got um, last year's chest there as well, and then, uh, sorry, the year before uh, chest, sorry, and this year's chest um, that we've got here from last year, well, last Christmas, last year, yeah. Anyway, I'm confused myself. Let's go ahead and open the chest. What did we get here? Okay. Um, we have got some ash plank, granite block, we've got some oats, thank god for that. Fish, perfect. And some excellent herb infusions. We have got ourselves a very first rare tube, blueprint, and some uncommon tubes as well. Steel, what do we get here? The Sharps Rifle, ooh, that looks pretty cool. And what do we get here? This is the Amulet of the Guardian, Relic Enchanted with Savage Energies Grants. The owner with extra power doesn't drop on death if equipped. Okay, that's cool. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open up some of the um, presents that we've got here. We've got the axe again. I'm really hopefully I'll get the um, the gun, but I don't think we'll get the confetti gun. Um, ooh, so we got the the deer antlers here, and we only have. The basic stuff <laughs> so we didn't get much out of that one there so we're just gonna grab all of that anyway as it is and what I'm gonna do today something also a little bit different so I'm actually happy that we've got this I think this is movable as well if I'm not mistaken so we do actually get to keep this and I'm just gonna uh, whisk it over here and we're just gonna drop it into here just so I can get it out of the way for now and I've at least got a side by side so I've got two of the themed Christmas chests as you can see here along with my gun safes and whatnot. Um, I'm still thinking about my base idea as well. I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do just yet, but um, hopefully we will um, work out something and yeah, we'll get something underway shortly. Um, that's basically a part of my, my own little roadmap here. 
I'm actually a little bit concerned as well, and not in a bad way or anything like that. I'm not too sure if you guys play Last Day on Earth, but there appears to be a new update where you guys can go a second level on your base. Now, I'm not too sure if it's your home base. I haven't really looked into it because I really don't play the game myself. I've just seen it pop up on some of my news feeds um, along YouTube there. So I don't know whether or not it's your home base like, that allows you to go to a second level, or is it um, your communal um, horde bases, I believe, that you guys have now on the um, on the game. So again, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to hear that. And the other reason why I bring that up is if I start designing a new base um, for myself here, because this um, pretty much follows on the same uh, game mechanics and the same game engine as Last Day in Earth, I know there's a lot of um, things that they've shared in the past up until now. Um, I do believe that the developers have gone on their own pathway, but I'm not too sure if they're going to have the ability to implement such a mechanic onto Wasteland Survival. So I'm not too sure yet. I'm hesitant, but then again, at the same time, if I don't do it, I'm never going to do it anyway. So that's my thought process behind it. And I just thought, of, thought I'd bring this up um, to your attention. So yeah, with that all being said, um, I really want to get into the next phase of everything here. We're just going to go ahead and drop most of this back here and I've actually got over a hundred blueprints that I haven't opened yet and I've been meaning to do this for quite a long time I'm gonna save that actually I'm just gonna bring it along with me um, and yeah so I really want to open up all of the blueprints that I have here so we're just gonna grab all of this well actually you know what I'm gonna grab actually I'll grab the six for now and then what I'll also do is I'm just going to go into my inventory inbox and then let's just go back to the top because I do have some more up here. And once I sort of get to the tippity top, there we go. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to grab that. And this has just been a combination of um, uh, quests that I've done and also um, uh, all the Christmas uh, little bits and pieces that I've done as well at the same time. So I just thought I'd just bring everything here. So what I've got here is, so there is 30, 60, 90 normal tubes, 94 if you want to count the four that I have in my inventory slot. Then I've got 15 of the uncommon and I've got one of the rare just here. So yes, so I've got well over 100. Um, so if we, if we do the math here, I've got about 110. Um, blueprints to open. Now I don't know how quickly they open all up together if they just open up one by one so we're just going to go ahead and just give these guys a bit of a crack and open up. So I've been saving this purposely ever since the blueprint update was released so um, a lot of the weapons, armor, the whole th um, everything that I've got here I've not had the ability to update anything or received any sort of perks or anything like that and now the time has come we're going to go ahead and do it so let's go ahead and open up all of these four. There we go. So, okay, so they open up all in, in their stack. So I'm just gonna do stack by stack and we'll just go ahead and open them up. And then basically here, we're just gonna learn everything um, that we've got. So cowboy boots, we've got a few of these here. Um, so it just gives us plus four of defense, which is kind of cool. So I guess moving forward, everything else get, just gets the, the upgrade and we can just basically move on from there so the fine jeans made at the armor workshop okay cool so attack speed plus one and defense plus three now I'm not too sure whether or not if it's already added into the total there or if it's already if it's based on the original which was 33 then plus three and then attack speed plus two plus one so that, that means I've got plus three attack speed that I'm not too sure of we're gonna have to sort of make a mental note of some of these things new bl blueprint okay so I've got a green river knife that's neat. Um, yeah, so that I'm not too sure exactly on how that works. I figured I'd just sort of um, throw it out, out to you guys. So let me know in the comments on how that sort of works along um, with that. So let's go ahead and open up the, the stack of 10 here. But I'll try and make a men mental note and just see if it actually sort of pans out. If not, look, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and learn this. Um, so upgrade to the brown musket. And what have we got here? The Confederate Saber, very good. I think that was about 343. So actually, you know what? I did check that um, beforehand when I was looking through 
um, some of my um, workstations and I believe that was 343 prior to that so if we do yeah so even if you do the math on that there that basically works out to be 377 so basically the plus whatever you get already stacks into your total and that's basically what you get so it's not 337 oh sorry 377 plus 34 it's basically given you that uh give sorry given the total itself so let's just continue to open up the rest of these. Now, apologies if it's not a, an exciting little episode that I'm sort of doing here, but I really wanted to sort of show you guys. Um, ooh. Okay, so uh, SMW Model 1. So do we actually have that available? I don't think we do. I'm not too sure. Deputy's Pants. Um, upgrade. It does say upgrade, so it doesn't mean that it's been learnt or anything like that. Um, Aside from just obviously gaining the knowledge, I just want to quickly double check. Let's go over to the, the gun station here. Oh, okay. So that means I can craft it. Well, alloy plate. Aha, okay. Okay, nickel plate apart. So I can't touch them just yet. But this is showing me that there's new things that have been added in as I'm sort of, um, up, well, you know, learning all of the, the blueprints here. So. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, good to know. Like I said, I haven't done this before, so it is a, a big interest of mine to sort of get a better understanding on how all of these work. And we've got these 10 here, so let's go ahead and open up all of these. If anything really interesting pops up, then obviously we can... Um, learning this blueprint will only give you 2,000 ESP. That's fine, so that means I've already learnt it. So everything that, that you see here, pretty much getting either for the first time and I think now that I've sort of maxed it out that looks like that has been maxed out now which is kind of cool uh, dueling pistol um, I believe it just gives you EXP moving forward We've got the coach shotgun here attack speed is really what I'm really hoping for for a lot of the guns that I get over and above you know all out um, uh, power I guess at the end of the day and only because so um, I can use Use it more competently and not sort of get um, held up with trying to you know attack enemies and things like that if I'm in a situation where I need um, quicker you know response time so anything 125 or better that's basically what I'd be interested in I guess there we go so Confederate Saber I'm starting to upgrade that which is pretty cool goes up again as you can see so as we saw, sort of saw beforehand it was um, there was a little bit less than 446 now that we've added to the fact that it sort of upgraded itself accordingly and as we keep going along these are just all the the common stuff we'll get into the juicy stuff soon enough i just wanted to sort of bang out all the, all these guys here and just sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on how or what i'm actually getting and hopefully you guys are um, enjoying this because i mean you don't know what you're going to get i guess at the end of the day because it's all given at random i, I believe we go 4000 exp why not um and i guess in a sense there you know it's sort of like like a little surprise what do you get you know compared to uh what you guys get um personally versus what i get uh, myself um another common upgrade for the confederate saber so we're nearly up to 500 damage attack on the confederate saber so come the update when we get the tier 5 resources i'll be able to um, you know, be able to use a, a neat little melee in the form of the Confederate Saber. Uh, new blueprint, okay. So I've got a brand new uh, weapon here. Um, so a two-handed hammer. Uh, attack speed is very poor. Uh, damage is, I guess, okay. If you really wanted to use it in, you know, green zones, I wouldn't even use it anywhere else, to be honest with you personally. But that's just me. And it looks like we've got nothing but common stuff here, which is fine. Um... Let's just open up all of this. Oops. And open that up again. Leather jacket. I guess, you know, for a lot of these things I'm really not going to use. Um, I'll be more interested, mainly for me, in, you know, obviously high-powered guns. Um, ooh, 8,000 EXP, that's pretty good. Um, and anything um, uh, armor, you know, related, I'll be more 
you know, interested in at this point in time. So let's go ahead and open up him. And we've got a bit of the warmer clothing upgrade, fast load shock, oh sorry, folding shotgun, sorry. Uh, 4000 EXP, thank you very much. Okay, brown best musket. Common upgrade again, 490 now, wow. Um, oh, okay, block knife, new, oh sorry, block flint, sorry, I don't know why I said block knife, but uh, new gun, awesome. So these are some of the cool things that I'll sort of like doing in, in a sort of bulk capacity because, you know, obviously, like I said, you don't know what you're going to get. And I haven't really even got into all the uncommon and the rare stuff here. So kind of exciting to see exactly what's going to happen when I do get into some of those. Um, okay, Henry 44. Okay, upgraded damage. Awesome. If the attack speed went up to 100 or 100 plus, I'd be um, really happy with that but I don't know if I've actually seen any blueprints that have come through that gives you um, uh, attack speed which is kind of annoying um, you know you, you would think that maybe something like this would happen in future or that there will be sort of you know some sort of um, specialized I guess blueprints that give you that sort of ability to you know have different other uh, you know certain other attributes you know instead of just upgrading you know in this case, say defense here or attack speed. Um, well, attack speed for um, uh, for the waistcoat here, which is okay, I guess. You know, that could always flow into things like weaponry, or whether or not if it's only based on um, higher uh, blueprints, like uncommon blueprints, or better. That's probably the, the likelihood of things. So, anyway, again, just theorizing here before it all sort of happens, I guess, at the end of the day. So. We sell, we sell, well, shall see, there we go, I can't even talk today guys, doing really bad here, but let's just continue um, cracking all these open, nice, so the pepper box is updated, actually interesting enough, I don't know whether or not does that flow into the, um, no it doesn't, okay, so that doesn't give me the upgrade, so anything that's been built prior, you're obviously not going to get any of that, so it is what it is. Which makes a whole lot of sense as well anyway, so I was actually kind of hoping that I'd get something that I know that I've already got and just seeing if it'll actually um, uh, raise the bar for itself because it's already been made or do I actually have to go and uh, create a newer version of it. So in that case, we know exactly what's happened there. Okay, cool. So Winchester Rifle has been upgraded as well. Uh, 649, so not a bad increase. Uh, short bow, okay. Now we move on to some of the good stuff here. So we've got 25 uncommon tubes here. Let's go ahead and open these up. Really interested to see what I get out of these as well. Um, okay, so fine trousers. So a lot of um, a lot of armor upgrades here, guys. So what we've got here, the ranger coat, a um, bit of a bump up. Uh, the waistcoat again, so wow, look at that, the waistcoat is now plus three, interesting. Uh, the Remington upgrade, cool. I actually don't mind the Remington, it is a good little um, good little gun. It only requires iron parts as well, so especially if you want to use um, a weapon such as this and you don't really want to spend money on um, on upgraded, uh, the upgraded gun, I kept, for, keep forgetting what it's called. And I think I've got it in my... Um, my little horsey over here. Um, this fella here. So yeah, so the uh, Lamata uh, revolver. If you don't want to spend resources on steel to actually make those, then you're probably better off using the Remington as a really good replacement or, you know, alternative for, you know, your green, yellow, possibly even red, um, you know, red tier zones. You'd probably want to leave all them up just for things like um, spirit cave runs, canyon trials, things like that. Um, that's probably what I'll, I'll be looking at, to be honest with you. Cool, we've got the Marion, uh, Marionette, or Mar Mariette. That's the Mariette, okay. So I kind of like the Pepper Box, but um, I think that might be a slower weapon to the Pepper Box. Nice, another upgrade to the Remington. So I might actually start using that a little bit more now, which is really good. Plus with my own skill buffs that you have as well, it's going to take to, you know, X amount. Um, it might have been close to 400 attack power, which is good, so uh, 
I might start using that. Uh, the block flint again. What have we got here? A wall knife. It's a new blueprint, which is kind of neat. Uh, sheriff stuff. Okay. Interesting. 344, 125 attack speed, attack range one and a half. Upgrade again. It's a neat little knife. Might sort of want to use that as like a last resort weapon, I guess, if you run out of weapons or you know guns or whatever. Cool. And we are onto the final ten of the uncommon, and then we'll bang open the the rare tube and see what we get out of it. Okay, let's see what we get out of here. Calvary Saber. It's a little bit better than the basic saber, I believe, but I'll, I'll have to go to, uh, double check. A warhammer. Okay. It's a very slow weapon. And this is going to upgrade um, the damage. Fur coat. Bows, to be honest. I mean, I'm really not interested in bows. Unless if the bows are very fast paced bow, but I'm really not interested. There we go. The Sheriff's Knife has gone over 400, which is fantastic. Uh, Ranger Coat. And Buffalo Rifle, new blueprint, okay, it's nearly 500 as well, interesting. And then you upgrade to the ball knife, okay, so we've got the final blueprint here. The only thing that I'm really concerned about as well is that it's all well and good upgrading your, your current inventory or the um, current, say, weapons or more importantly, armor. Uh, particularly with armor is if you may not always get... Um, all of the same family of uh, upgrades for, for from your blueprints. So, you know, things like the shoes, the pants, the shirt, the hat, you may not get all the same blueprints from the same upgrade, uh, sorry, the same armor um, family, if that makes sense. So, what you're going to find is slight inconsistencies if you're going to craft that family of armor. That one or two pieces of that armor may last predominantly longer as opposed to the other ones that haven't, you haven't found blueprints for. So yeah, just thought I'd just bring that up. I thought that might be an interesting thing to sort of touch on. But anyway, let's go ahead and open up this last one here. And it's just a, a knife. So the Skinner Buffalo. Wow. Deals 100 damage over three seconds. Okay. I guess that's okay. But I'm not really excited about that, to be honest with you. Um, I really want to sort of go over back to the gun smith station here. And then now we can actually sort of see... Oh, okay, okay, so the, the Mariette is actually a little bit stronger than the Pepper Box, even though I've got an upgrade from, of the, uh, from the Pepper Box. It's a little bit stronger. And it only costs one more bronze parts to actually craft. Oh, sorry, and, and rivets. Oh, and, of course, bronze plate. Okay, so a little bit more in resources, and you get a slightly higher attack basic uh, gun, I guess so, which is kind of neat. Dueling pistol is not bad if you want to invest in iron. And again, for a lot of people, iron might not be a um, an easy resource to sort of come by and manufacture, so a lot of people might be sticking to... Maybe these two for now, possibly this for now, and then but and then maybe upgrading later on. Who knows? But this I'll be interested in using again a little bit more. It's just the iron rivets that I sort of need to invest in. Um, let's have a look over here. So the coach shotgun might be a good shout. 100 attack speed. So it doesn't seem that anyone else in the shotgun family is faster. Okay, so the SM, SM model, sorry, SW1, model 1, is 556. I think I've got the model 2, and I think that's the, um, the Schofield back in the day before they changed the recipe for us. So let's go ahead and see if I can find it. There it is. It's got 781, so the Model 2 is obviously better. But I don't think the Model 2 is there anymore. It was there in prior updates, I believe. So we've only got the Model 1 now. So what does that mean, guys? Um, 
It could mean a lot of things. It could mean that the Model 2 is a very, very rare weapon and you should never use it, or maybe use it on occasion and get it repaired at the gunsmith. Or, does that mean that the Model 1 has replaced the Model 2 in its place, or Tier 5, when that becomes available, and could there be possibly T6? Interesting. That's interesting. So I'm not too sure exactly what will happen with that or what's to come with that, but at least we sort of get a better impression on, on that one there, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. A little bit different of a video. Not much that we sort of went on or what, you know, we didn't really go out to explore or anything like that, but sort of wanted to do this blue, uh, blueprint video for a little while now so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comments what you thought about it what type of blueprints have you guys scored in, in the time that you guys have been playing have you got similar uh, blueprints to me or have you gotten think other things uh, sorry other type of blueprints uh, so let me know what's the best blueprint that you guys have come across that's enabled you to you uh, take you uh, full you know utilization of it and you guys have um, a better weapon for that or better armor possibly for that for that matter there but even if we go into here as well not much has changed it just gives you everything that's all as per usual um, but there's no buffs for that anyway aside from what you see there anyway but anyway let me know in the comments hit the like button share the video guys if you can that'll be really much well appreciated if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing hitting the notification bell as well i do plenty of other survival games on my channel so do check out what i've got and if you're interested have a look at the videos and uh, let me know what you think anyway guys i'm out of here thanks for watching and i will catch you some other time